Nomination day is in full swing, and the PNM candidate for point of pair, Daniel Juki, arrived at the nomination site at the Marabella South Secondary School promptly at 9 a.m. He was wearing a red face mask as he went forward to file his papers. He shared with the media his main objective in running for election. My major objective is to bring proper representation to the people of point of pair fight for them and ensure that the goods and services that are produced by the government of Canada and Tobago are made available. Arriving right after, accompanied by about 50 supporters and to the beat of tassa drums, was the UNC's Dr. David Lee. He wished all competitors luck in the election. In Shigona's East, the PNM's Clarence Rambarat filed his papers and the supporters took off to the streets in gleeful celebration. His competitor, the UNC's Vandana Mohit, was seen dancing on the streets with her followers. Also seen on the streets were the followers of Dinesh Ram Bali, who is running for Shigona's West. The day is not yet over and will continue at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. A new candidate facing or contesting Port of Spain North was Representative Lima McLeod. She is going up for the Progressive Empowerment Party, or PEP, and she told the TTT that the experience was quite interesting. Very quick and very pleasant. It was, it was interesting. It was actually really exciting. It is an exciting time for me because this is my first time doing this. Also going up for St. Anne's West was the PNM's Stuart Young, who was part of nomination celebrations on the streets. All candidates are gearing up for the general election on August 10. And for a look at La Hockita nominations, we go to Ian Wason on location. Ian? Checking to see whether or not you can hear us, Ian. Yes, of course. I have a good, good day. Of course, it was it's quiet now, but it was really um, noisy earlier as both candidates came with their large numbers in support Foster comments from the People's National Movement and, of course, Julian John, the candidate for the United National Congress. Now, both candidates, and of course, I can now call them candidates as they file their papers at the office of the returning officer, and they are both fully confident of victory at the polls. Julian John stating that once she's elected, the, the constituents will have a, a representative who is always present. And of course, Foster comments highlighting a lot of the ills that he would fix during his time if he gets in for the next five years. Both parties full of confidence, um, the PNM with their strong support, the UNC with their strong support, and of course this seat currently held by the PNM is a keenly contested seat as from 27, the 27 elections and 2010, 2015, they keep changing hands. And of course, 2020 will be no different at the polls on August 10th. This is Ian Wayson, TTT Thank you News. so much. Thank you so much, Ian Wayson.